welcome. My name is Liv. If you guys are new here, welcome. If you guys are not new here, welcome back. I love thanks for clicking on today's video. If you don't already know, I am a, or I guess at this point was, a level 8 competitive gymnast. And I have been a competitive gymnast for at least 9 years of my life. And I've been doing gymnastics for 14 years. I'm currently 15 years old, about to turn 16 in the next month. As you can tell by the title of this video, I am quitting gymnastics. And as you have already seen, kind of, um, I did quit gymnastics. <laughs> um, and gymnastics has been my whole life. It is literally displayed throughout my whole personality, my whole um, emotions, my whole friendships, like, it is, it was what was holding my life together, and it honestly probably still is, because I still, and probably will always be attached to gymnastics in some way, and will always have strings, and I want that, I never want to be completely, like, detached, I never want to be unattached from gymnastics, sorry. I'm going into my junior year of high school, I just finished sophomore year, um, like, not even a week ago, a couple days ago. So I'm going to be going into my junior year, and with that, I want to be doing, I'm going to be doing so much stuff. I, for those who don't know, I am really big into photography. I am going on a photography trip. I might want to major or minor in photography in college. I want to do international relations in college. Um, I want to go to college or university in the UK. Um, and for, I want to do like Model UN. I want to do this i want to get a job i want to um focus on weightlifting and running and a bunch of different things in order to do everything that i wanted to do while still devoting considerable amount of time to each of those things i had to give up one thing and you wouldn't think it would be gymnastics like i said i've been doing gymnastics forever it is a constant it's been a staple it's been the thing that no matter what happens i can always go back to it oh my god i'm gonna cry it's been the thing i can always go back to and now i don't have that and it's not like for some other unfortunate people have like a life altering move or something like that where they had a life altering like injury or career ending injury that they could not do the sport that they love again and i know i'm very fortunate that that never happened to me I'm actually very fortunate that I never got severely injured in gymnastics, which is extremely rare. But the reason I stopped is because it didn't take effect. Gymnastics over a while didn't take effect on me physically. It did, but more so mentally. Gymnastics will always, always, always be something amazing that happened. The feeling of flying, the friends, vault, low vault, bars, even beam at the end of my level 8 season. Those... Those are the things I will miss the most. I will miss everybody. I will miss all the feeling of like the feeling of flying. But I know that mentally this will be better for me in the long run because I felt like if I kept doing it, I was just only gonna hurt myself more because I started having days where I was like, oh, I just don't want to go to the gym. And I know everyone has those days, but it wouldn't be like I don't want to go to the gym, like whatever. It would be like a thing, like it's like a chore, like. Like, oh my gosh, like, I would wake up and I dread going to gym. Like, I would go to sleep after coming home from practice and I'd be like, I have to go to gym tomorrow and I really don't want to. Like, it became a chore and it shouldn't become a chore. Like, something that I love shouldn't become a chore. Yes, it is, should be hard work and dedication. And yes, you're going to have those tough moments where you're struggling to get out of bed. Yes, you are. And that is all part about it, all of it. And that makes you want it more. And it shows, it shows that, like, you can have both sides. But this was reaching to a point where like I wasn't happy and going to gym was just like not it. And it wasn't because of people at all. Make that very clear. It wasn't because of people. And I wouldn't really say it wasn't because it like I wouldn't say it was because of the sport itself either. It's just because my mind was just in a different place and wanted different things. And I was still dedicated. And I was I will always be dedicated. And I was dedicated my entire 14 years. I was devoted and I worked hard. But working hard became so much harder when I realized that I, I didn't want it anymore. It was like, it's like forcing yourself to do something that you really don't want to do. So I would say that like, that is the reason why I quit. And I honestly, everyone has those days where they want to quit, but I really never thought I would go through with quitting. And I really didn't decide that I was going to until I wrote everything out and I said it out loud and I had my breakdowns and I cried and I talked about it and I wrote it out. I talked to my stuffed animals, I talked to my dog, I talked to actual humans, I talked to my therapist, I 
talked to my coaches, I wrote essays, because I like writing, to figure out what's with the pros and cons in a way. And after doing all that, the choice became clear. And I'm still hesitant. I don't know if I made the right decision as yet. Because yeah, I do miss everybody. But I find myself not really wishing that I was back there. If that makes sense. Like I said, I'll never fully be disconnected from gymnastics. I love gymnastics with my whole heart and I will be back. I I promise you guys, I already have something up. But this is just what I needed right now. And there's a million people, a million and one people who love me and support me throughout this. And I know there's some, there's a lot of people that are shocked by this because like I said, it's been my whole personality. Like anyone who ever knows me, the first thing you know about me is that I'm a level eight competitive gymnast or whatever I was at the time. But I'm not anymore. And it is really weird to not be, do gymnastics. It's weird not to have my Leo sitting out in my closet. It's weird not to... Like, my, my friend is actually, because I'm going to see her today, she's actually bringing my grips and my tiger paws because I kind of forgot the last day I was there. So she's bringing that to me. It's weird that my gym bag is, like, not in use anymore. I'm about to throw it away. Um, and it's weird that, like, everything that I've done and everything that I've built and everything that I've ever done in my gymnastics career and all the skills and everything, but, like, that's just, like, a memory. Like, it's a memory. And I, I'm so grateful for that memory, but it feels so weird. I'm gonna miss being able to do stuff that not everyone else can do. Cause like it's just like it's just like a lot of things that might be petty, but it is something that I am gonna miss. I will. My goal is to still have all my splits down. I my goal is to still be able to throw a back handspring, um, throw a back tuck, do a wrap back hand. Like my goal is that when I go back to the gym when I'm like 20 or if I am just in the backyard with my friends to still be able to do it or that is my goal like I don't want to lose the body I built I don't want to lose the skills that I built I don't want to lose the lessons that I've made like as I've learned because gymnastics has raised me and for the better honestly anyway yes overall I stopped gymnastics I quit gymnastics on May 20th 2022 and actually that was right around the time that I started at my gym seven years ago so a full circle <laughs> um, so yeah I am no longer a gymnast there will be no longer no many no more gymnastics content in the form that you guys are used to seeing um, yeah and I'm really sad but this summer we're gonna have a lot of fun with different stuff coming up and this this next year is going to be something different um for those who are asking if you want me to do a QA, and a let me know and comment down below um for those who are asking if i'm going to be doing another sport because a lot of people ask me that right now the answer is no i just love going to the gym and i love running um but both of them are more like a stress lever for me so i don't know if i want to turn that into a sport but i have been asked to join like over five rc sports throughout my years at my current school so there is a good chance I could do a sport, but I really don't think so because I am taking a step back from gymnastics so I want to have more time to do other things as well as like repair myself. So yeah, but I am, like I said, I'm super grateful to everyone who I've met throughout my years of gymnastics. I um, I will always love you guys. I always will love the sport and nothing, none of my reason for stepping back has to do with necessarily like directly the people I've met or encountered, the people I've worked with, or the sport itself. It's kind of just like a combination of me and what I've learned about myself in the past two years, and then a little bit of the sport. But other than that, I will always love everything and everything that gymnastics has given me. So thank you guys so much for watching um, this video, and it's the end of an era. Bye. Alright, hello guys. Pardon for my voice sound like this. Um, yes, it, it yeah, anyway. Um, I was actually gonna film the whole thing today, but I didn't want my voice sound like this through the whole, entire video. So hopefully it's just like a few minutes that you hear my voice like this. Okay. So these are the Leos I'm going to be keeping and the Leos I'm going to be giving away. It's just really sad, but it needs to happen, so yeah. This Leo is one of my favorite Leos. It is 
I'm keeping it. I oh by the way, keeping the lead doesn't mean that I'm gonna go back to gymnastics. I don't plan on it, but this is like these are just some of that ones. All right. Anyway, it's one of my favorite Leos. All right, this is one of my favorite Leos. It is Starstruck Invitational. It is like so cool, and this is the back. Like one of my favorite Leos. One of the most breathable Leos too. So this one is definitely, definitely a keep blue. And I really do love this purple one. It is, um, I got it from, I think I just, I think my mom either got it for me for Christmas or my grandma or something. And it's mesh. <laughs> and it's like these plums. And actually, two of my other friends got it. And so we all used to like triplet. Um, but then they don't go to my gym anymore. And actually, one of them doesn't even do gymnastics anymore. <laughs> Alright, the next one I have is one that I actually just got. And this one is huge. Like, okay, so my friend told me, um, since they, since the brands that we had changed their sizes, um, she told me to get an extra large. I'm like, because that's what fit her. And we have similar body, but like not really at the same time. So I was like, okay, it was it's way too big. Yeah. So this one I'm giving away. The next one is this one, and it is from a meat. Um, and I want to keep some of my like some of my meat leos but not this one this one all these leos by this comp by this competition magical classic are so comfy by the way i'm giving these away to my friends unless they don't want them then i'm gonna give them to like goodwill or something because yeah then i have this leo this one i absolutely love the color and the pattern right um this one the texture is like really thick though like for no reason it's just like really thick so i'm not keeping it <laughs> all right the next one this one is from a competition again a lot of my leos are from competitions now and this one is the charleston cup one they were okay they were okay but i'm not keeping it so this is from two years ago again very comfy oh my gosh this one is from ozone that we went to this year in tennessee absolutely hate this leo absolutely hate it it's the most uncomfortable thing ever like it barely fit me i wore it like twice this leo is the leo that we had to wear um on every thursday so yeah it's staying only because it's like memories but i would give it honestly i always did good i always performed well in that leo next leo i only had to wear once which is really sad or no i wore it twice which is really sad but it's okay um and then it's this one this one is from courtney yuku pets um and this was like one of the last meets we went to before states and it was the two times i wore it was actually pretty comfy and i'm gonna keep it i want to keep it okay it's a magical classic again and this is from this past year um and it is very very comfy and i'm going to keep this leo because i really like this leo okay and then this is another one of my absolute favorite leos it used to say your gym right here but then it just kind of like faded away over time um and it's like a cross back and it's so cool. This one, this Leo was like one of my favorite Leos because it was like one of the most unique Leos that I had. Um, it was from my Viva, which is like really different. They don't exist anymore, but um, yeah. So it also had like these butt things, like so like it wouldn't like it would ride up your butt, like the Leo. Oh, this is hard parting with my Leos. I didn't really think I'd have that much attachment to them. And then the last Leo is from Charleston Cup and um from two years ago. <laughs> from last year I think and yes 14 Leos in total